Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be watching G Friends video for the Apple comeback. When it gets released, god damn it, being sat here like refresh, 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 waiting. It's like, I, I pressed record at 9.59 because it's available at 10 a.m. for me in England. And I'm just, just clicking. It's 10 o'clock, come on, come on. Do you think? Do you think, Twitter? Do you think? Come on. Come on. Hey. Should be up. It's 10 o'clock. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? This is, this is what, sometimes I'll do this and like a minute or two before, it might pop up. But it's just one of those. You just sit around. I'll check the source music feed instead. Is it on there? Yes, it is. <sighs> Let's do this. Uh, full screen, please. Okay, cool. We've seen this. Big ass apple. God. Ah, uh, oh, knew it. Oh, wow. This is really funky. Oh wow. This is cool. Ooh. There's lots of stuff to go through after this. Gosh, she looks amazing. They all do actually. Glass bead. The labyrinth. Are you vaping? Oh. Oh. That'll please the Twitter fans. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at them. Is she floating? That a glass bead now, all red. Looks like see through that.
<gasps> what the shit? Oh, guys. There was a lot going on there. Let's, uh... Let's just quickly pause and talk about the music first. That is a cool little song. It's a cool little song. It's got a really... It's got a really chill, funky vibe to it. Like, it doesn't go over the top. It doesn't go bombastic. It gets a bit going in the middle with the chorus, but it's got such a cool, funky vibe to it, and it's so chill. I enjoy that. It's a fun little song. But I think I'm blown away more by the visuals and trying to take it all in. But it's a really cool little song. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna check out the rest of the album later today. But let's just let's just go through this video. Because there's so much to look at. So we're starting off. We've seen this bit already. You wanna take in the apple. And I always thought they were poisoned, so takes a good old bite. face and then so I'm thinking once she's spaced out either the sirens have come dragged them <laughs> somewhere else or some of the other stuff is all in there in the girls minds because we, we didn't see anything from the uh, the butterfly effect video where they're all running through the forest we didn't see any of that with the other girls they all just seem to be there and a lot of you all thought that this is the centre of the labyrinth, so that probably makes sense. It's got a cool, funky... It's got like a bit of a sexy vibe to the voices, because it's quite low and a little husky. But we are seeing a different side of them, like, there's no denying, this is a sexy look. This and the black look. But not too over top. Still keeps a bit of their innocence, because it's white. Such a cool shot. Morning! So we had there, we've seen that a few times now. Not the feathers. Those feathers? No, petals. Pe petals are outweighing the glass bead. So is that a siren thing? Because they've been tracking the uh, glass bead for so long. Like it's no longer worth worthwhile. You know, the, the flowers and enticement from the labyrinth is more. I wonder, who, I wonder who tracked her in there. Can we tell from the outfit, from the hand? No. Long sleeve. So she's dragged into this room in a totally different dress. Lighting's different. Everything's different. And then it's showing all them... Um, being all uh, weird and seductive. Do it to her there, did she? I can't tell if they've done something with the makeup to make her eyes a bit darker and they've gone it's like it's like a kid doing someone else's lips. <laughs> they've missed they've gone really too far over the, the curvature of her own mouth. But... And this thing, look at this. You've got the most terrifying <laughs> massive butterfly. I've told you before, I don't like butterflies. That I would have bit out of the window if I saw that. And this, what is this? Is this now the glass bead? Because later on, you'll see that again. But what's inside it? I went too far back. That's just like a smart thing. Yerin emerges. Follows the butterfly. The one disappointing thing about the video is, it's not in 4K. <sighs> Big hit. Come on. Look how breathtaking she looks there. So, so far, 
we've only got like two girls that have experienced something different to what the others have. You've got Yerin waking up in that field and running through the labyrinth. And then we had Yuna at the beginning biting the apple and then falling into a coma and maybe being dragged here by the sirens. The others are already there, but we haven't seen anything. Glass bead. And this, what is this? You better not be vaping, dear. It is terrible for you. I know it's a cool shot, but I hope it's dry ice. I can't tell if it's CGI or not. It could be just dry ice. And that, yeah, them, them little shots will make all the children on Twitter happy. Look, girls looking like they're gonna kiss, ooh. It seems like it's a more of a, a siren thing of like uh, enticing and um but this some of the other shots where it looks like they're kissing each other they're not they're just kissing the apple i do like that on the eyes though it's really cool but they're kissing the apple because that's their new god be gone glass bead we have an apple like this look like sexy vampire demon girls And this looks like some uh, sacrificial thing where they all take a piece of their own hair and, and burn it. Burn the apple tree. A par tree. So there. That now. Is that a new glass bead or is that just something new to represent the story going forward? Because it's similar sort of size to the big one that uh, Una used to have. Like, what's this? Oh, that's the box with a... Oh, I thought it was a box box with a... all the butterflies in. So, I wonder if those butterflies are now going and uh, those are the, the sirens call so they're gonna go and get more victims. And let's go with this theory. Those victims are gonna be from Big Hit. There, how's that? How's that tie-in? I'll put that theory out there. And if it becomes true, you can all come subscribe to me. <laughs> but look, I'm here, slightly see-through. So does that mean they're no longer beings of this earth or this realm? They're now between worlds because Kind of ghostly here. Full on red outfit, red hair. Yeah, look, still see through. Cool, that shot is. And now, yeah, just grab some horns and uh, some more ivy coming out of the floor there. It's a little too CGI. Could have, could have been a bit higher, but now the demons, our little schoolgirls that we've seen grow. Well, you, you've seen them longer than I have, but um, they're now demons. We need Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, that is that is a lot to unpack. Cool song, super cool song. Just super like chill and sort of funky and a little bit sexy, but not too, I don't know, just cool. And a, just a music video we can unpack for months and months and months. I, I enjoyed that a lot, I enjoyed that a lot. God, it's, I've been rambling for nearly 15 minutes now. I'll let you guys get off to get down into the comments to talk about this. We're going to spend the rest of the day theorising. I'm sorry, my boss, I'm not going to get much work done today. Please don't watch this video. Um, thanks, guys. I'll, um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.